in my first year uh, at the first HVAC company I worked at, actually the second one. So this second company, within the first year I was there, they were doing the NATE certifications. And so, you know, everybody has their viewpoints, you know, on those tests. But the reality of it is it was something that was put in my face and I wanted to pass it. I wanted to, you know, I, they said, hey, you have to have multiple years in order to pass it. And I was like, well, I'm going to study. I'm going to study for it. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to learn as much as I can and I'm going to study as much as I can. And so I ended up passing like the installation portion of the heat pump module. And so the installation manager of like 36 years, he passed the installation and service of this. And then the service tech, he passed the service part and I passed the installation part and all the other employees, there's like 20 employees, nobody passed anything. And so the boss looked at me and he was like, Oh, that's, that's pretty good. And then I took an unpaid day off, and I went to another training session. I learned at that session. I studied again. I paid for the test on my own and passed the the service part. I came back, and I ended up having a $4-an-hour raise. And that was just because of the initiative. And so that that meant a lot to me. And I'm like, okay, so that tells me he's real, he. I wasn't doing it for a $4-an-hour raise. I was doing it because I want to learn, and I want to grow. I want to gain skill sets. I want to move up in the company. But that was a huge thing for me to see, okay, he's willing to reward me for going out on my own and doing this education on my own as well. So that was a huge thing. For me, taking the test was different. I I have a lot of test anxiety uh, because ADHD in school of being able to focus. Testing was a very negative experience when I grew up. To this day, still when I take a test. But I've been able to identify that and when I started taking some of these tests, like the Nate test, I was like, "Oh, it's too hard. You're not gonna, you're not gonna pass it." So I just went in knowing, "Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna pass it, but I'm gonna give it my best." And then I would write down as soon as it was over the questions that I didn't know. Like I just went in expecting to fail, and then I would go and look for this information I didn't know, and I would go and I would study it. I would learn way more information than what I was looking for. And then I went back and took it again. I just kept retaking it until I passed it. And then for me to know that I could do that, I set this goal and I accomplished it and I can do that and overcome it. Like that was huge for me and it motivated me. It gave me so much power when I passed it. And then I got my contractor's license and then I just kept getting more and more certifications. And my certifications, I don't show them as, you know, for anybody else but me. So if you're like me and you struggle with test anxiety, do not let that stop you push through and drive. Take take some smaller tests. Take some of the easier tests. There's some online tests now that have these little certifications. And again, they don't mean much, but it means a lot that you've able to solve a problem and overcome something. And then start building that to your resume and uh, do it for you. Whatever you do it for, do it for you. 